The 42nd Pacific Islands Forum is now underway. The cloud is now empty here at the Auckland waterfront, but this morning it was full of people as well as the 15 Pacific Island leaders. John Key opened the event with a speech and it was followed by a number of Pacific Island performances. The forum is a crucial meeting place for officials to address Pacific issues, but this morning was more about celebrating the occasion with song and dance. Well, I mean, it's, it's really awesome that we can, um, that we're here on the eve of the World Cup, obviously, and it is the Pacific Cup in many regards. It's a great fit, um, and this is just an amazing event centre, you know, to have the uh, Pacific Showcase leading in. I think we really acknowledge the, the vision of the, the government, New Zealand government. Smaller island state leaders met yesterday at Sky City, while Michael Jones was the guest speaker at the Pacific Investment Summit at the Cloud. We are still having the same issues that we've had 10, 15, 20 years ago in terms of the trade imbalance. UN Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon urged an audience at Auckland University to tackle climate change and other global issues. We need a big thinking and bold action. Climate change is not about tomorrow. It is about today, this moment, which is happening. The science has made it plainly clear Science, world's most respected and best scientists, they made it quite clear. The climate change is happening now and approaching. With so many challenges to address over the next few days, expectations of the Pacific Island leaders varied across those in the audience. There are huge uh, questions. One question that wasn't answered was standing over here, which is the banner on West uh, Papua, which won't go away. I mean, it's one of those questions which is being sidestepped because it's difficult, of course, but it won't go away. I'm very much um, very encouraged by, by Kimon's speech uh, because what he's doing, what he's speaking is all about commitment, supporting each other, helping each other, and make sure that everyone does something to help those people who are very much affected, which is very good news for New Zealand to support other small countries. Uh, in regards to climate change, I think if they could um, possibly better the New Zealand transport system, I think if they can make buses cheaper, I think students would stop driving. And that would put less cars on the road and more people on buses, more people on trains. Uh, I think the prices are just way too high for people to actually use them. Though. The leaders were officially welcomed to the Auckland Museum with a porphyry by Nati Fatu. With the official welcomings now over, it's back to business for the Pacific leaders. Chris Chang, Pacific Media Centre.